Hello, this is Mike, and welcome to PHP Programming Video 17. And in this particular video, we're actually going to look at logic expressions and dates. And so, as we move on this series now, we're going to start looking at more advanced methods. And the date method is a wonderful method that you'll use often. And uh, there's many versions to this type of date or time in PHP. We'll just look at date today. And I have the documentation that I pulled from the php.net site. Let's just go to the site right now and show you the best way to learn about methods. So let's bring up the php.net site. So whenever you come across a method in PHP that you don't understand what it does, or you want to know how to use it, or you basically want to extend what it does, you want to go to php.net and type in uh, whatever that method is, like date, for example, and up will come all uh, the uh, things it can do. Specifically, you want to look at its description, and uh, it'll show you how the code is formatted and how to work with it. Once you've done that, there should be examples below that, and for date, you see a ton of stuff. And pretty much it's giving you the parameters. So if you put a little D in the uh, date formatter, you're going to get a day of month, two digits, 0, 1 through 31. If you use a large D, you're going to get uh, Monday through Sunday with the three-letter abbreviation. And J, you get it without the zeros. And little L, you get the Sunday through, the full names through Saturday. So it just goes on like that. And you can actually concatenate all these together and create even more complex date strings. And so you want to go through this and read this. And we'll show you a few examples. But let's get started. So now going back to the PHP code, we're going to learn to work with date. And so the first thing I'm going to do is basically declare a variable and set it equal to date capital D. And what does capital D do once again? What capital D does, I have the documentation here in the code and I have it commented out, but you can look at it. Is capital D is going to give you that Monday through Sunday abbreviation, the three-letter abbreviation. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and just echo that out. So let me come along here. I'm going to comment out all this code right here. And you use uh, Shift Control C to do that. And I'm just going to create a little echo statement. And let's echo out the variable my day. Let's Control um, C. Excuse me, wrong. Let's uh, Control C, right? And Control V to paste. I like to cut and paste my variables because if I spell them wrong, I get an error. And now let's just save this and run this code. And I got Sunday because today's Sunday. It's just a three letter abbreviation S U N. Now, now that I have that, I can actually use that in my if-else statement and uh, compare it to what day I actually want to think about or talk about or comment on, and that will actually give me a Boolean expression. So let's go back to that and do that now. So I previously highlighted all this code. I'm going to highlight it again. Just hit Control-C. That will take the comments away. Or that's Shift-Control-C, excuse me. That will take the comments away. And now what I'm doing in this particular example, I'm back to my if-else if-else statement. So I'm going to say, what day is it? And if that day is Friday, I'm going to say, we'll have a nice weekend. And if that day is Sunday, then I'm going to say have a nice Sunday. And if it's not Friday and it's not Sunday, I'm just going to say have a nice day. And let's make sure I remove my echo here. I'll get a, a comment out. Good. And save that. Now let's run it. And there you go. Have a nice Sunday because it's actually Sunday. Very nice. But I may want to do a little bit more with this. I actually may be running a restaurant and it may be running some specials and I may have certain days that certain things happen. So I can actually start using some logical operators. And let me just show you a few here. If I use the double AND sign, that is the logical operator for AND. And if I use the double pipe sign, that is the logical operator for OR. So I could actually start coming in here in my conditional expression and start building up conditions so I can actually have more than one condition happening in the same expression. So let's go ahead and do that. So let me rewrite this code just a little bit to show you how this AND and OR operator works. Now be careful, you got a little error here. If you roll over that, it shows you what the error is. Actually, this is not code. I just typed this in as a comment. So let's double uh, slash that so it comments out. And what I want to do here is actually let's change this date to Monday. And let's assume that I'm running some type of Monday special. Maybe girls get in free on Mondays and Wednesdays. And to, let's assume today is Monday. So let my day equal Monday or use a double pipe for Monday, Wednesday. Let me just copy and paste this code. Once again, I love to copy and paste because I t make typing errors. This saves me a little bit of headache and hit Wednesday. So what's going to happen is, is when this code runs, it's going to look at the day, and we're just putting Monday in there uh, since I want to use Monday and Wednesday as an example. It's going to look at this code and says, well, is it Monday or is it Wednesday? And if it is, let's let girls in free. So I'm going to say, girls get in free. And when I run that, my girl will get in free. Let's go ahead and run the program. And girls get in free. Let's try another one. So that's how the 
in a sense, how you extend these particular statements. Sometimes I'll, uh, if the, my statements are very complicated. I'll actually put parentheses in around them just to designate them. I didn't have to do that in this particular example. Okay? Very good. And that's how that would work. And you can use an AND statement as well. It's just how it works. And so uh, this, be aware of those two particular pipes. I'm actually now going to comment this code out, and we're going to actually look at uh, the date method just a little bit more. So we use Control C Shift. Just below that, I have a little bit of code I actually want to take a look at. Control C Shift to uncomment it. And what I want to talk about is how to extend this date right here and to do more with it. And what you're seeing is I have the date uh, right here, and what I've done is I put my uh, quotes in here and actually put a lot of different delineators in there. And you can put them as many as you want in whatever order you want them, and that will give you a string that looks just like that. Now let's see what that is. Well, L stands for what? Let's go up to our documentation up here. And little L right here is going to give you Saturday through Sunday the full word, okay? And then little d, what is that? Let's go up here and take a look at the documentation. Little d is going to give you the day in, in 0 through 31. So it's actually going to give you a numerical day. So you're going to get Sunday, numerical day, you're going to get the month, and you're going to get the year. So that's how that works. So just by concatenating any one that you want in here, you'll actually get that date printed out. Let's run this and see what it looks like. And there you go. Today is Sunday, 06 June 2010. So you're going to find this very useful, this date method, when you actually work with different uh, form letters, certainly in PHP. And sometimes time stamping your files as well. So let's go ahead and comment that out and move down in the PHP code and show you two more examples, and we'll be done with logical expressions and date. Uh, I'm going to just uncomment this code right here and just show you something that I'm working with. So now let's take a look at this next example. Basically what I'm doing is we learned all about this in lesson one. Is I'm setting a number equal to 10 and then I'm going to unset it. What it means it makes it a null, sets it a null. I'm going to use the isset method. Now what you need to know about if statements is that inside of these uh, conditionals, these expressions, you can use very complex functions. So not just uh, greater than or equal than, but is this isset? Is there a null or has it got a number to it? Well since I unset it, then it's actually going to go, hey, it's not set, and let's set A to 100. So let's run the code and confirm that. And you can see what it does. It says it's not set, so set it to 100. So even though I set it originally, I use the unset method to unset it. And you're going to see this is set and this unset used a lot in PHP, so just get used to them. Let's comment this out and go down to the last piece of code. So in lesson one, we actually talked about typecasting, and it may come to the point where I'm working with an integer and I want to, in a sense, change it to a string. And PHP may not do that for me automatically, so I want to force it. So what I'm going to actually do in this particular code, once you use a, use a complex method in or a function, or use a complex method in my if statement. So that expression, is it true or false? And what I'm saying, is my number an integer? And if it is, I want to use a set type to actually change that to a string. As we learned all about that last time, let's go ahead and run this code and see what happens. And nothing happens because I didn't echo anything to the screen. Uh, so I could like, echo something to the screen. Echo my num. Hit your run button. And it echoes back 10. And that 10 right now is a string. So how do I know that? Well, let's go back and do one more method. And I'm basically doing this to give you a little bit of review so you don't forget these methods as we move on. What I want to do is basically is string. So we'll come along here. Let's echo out is underscore string, right? my num put that in there and now let's echo that out and what should I get I should get a one right so let's run that so I'll go ahead and get rid of this num right here and let's run that and let's see if I get a string hit yes and I got out one and basically what that one means is yes indeed uh, it is now a string so so let me go back and review what we did in this lesson in this particular lesson, we learned about the powerful date method and how easy it is to set dates in PHP. We learned how to compare that by using a, a, a logic operator by essentially extending uh, the number of operations or number of comparisons that you can do in an expression inside an if statement. You can use the AND or you can use the OR. We just showed the OR, but we'll be showing examples of AND later on as we move on in the video. Just know that they're there and you'll be using them. We showed how to use the date string to create uh, fairly complex dates. And then we basically uh, reminded you of the unset and is set methods and of the uh, set type method. So be aware that you can actually put not just logical expressions, but actually more complex uh, uh, methods inside of if statements. So they're very useful, and you'll be using them throughout this course. So get used to them. If statements are great. Thanks for listening. This was Mike Lively.